Hello, and welcome back to my Pokemon TCG opening series, ASMR style, here on YouTube. Um, so today we are going to finish opening the Breakthrough Booster Box. I've got the last nine booster packs right here. If you manage to uh, somehow miss the other openings, I'll go ahead and link them everywhere, you know. And, uh... So let's get into it. We've got nine packs, and then I will have opened an entire booster box for the first time ever. And I'm glad that you guys could uh, see what I got with me. So it looks like we've got a Mewtwo, uh, well, two different Mega Mewtwo um, X and Y. Actually, looking at the color of their eyes, I'd hazard a guess that this is the Y. And that's the X. And then we have a Zoroark Break, Houndoom, Mega Houndoom, I mean. Another Mewtwo, 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 Zoroark, and Houndoom. So pretty even spread for the last card packs. We'll be starting with the one on the top, which is Mewtwo, or a Mega Mewtwo. I'm assuming Y. The one that looks like Frieza. <laughs> Starting off with a Bronzor. Has 60 HP, payback. We've seen this guy before. Uh. Uh. What's that? <laughs> okay, so this last um, section uh, part opening is starting off with a bang, I guess. We've got Froki and a Frogadier in the background. Panpour, yin again. Another Cyndaquil. Another Star You. A reverse Hollow Swine Up. And it is a Mega Mewtwo EX. Awesome. Check that out. Got 230 HP. So cool. <laughs> Vanishing Strike. Vanishing Strike is the attack. 150 damage. If there are any stadium cards in play, this attack does 50 more damage, and this attack isn't affected by resistance or any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Wow, so you couldn't even use like Protect or anything to save yourself from this. Well, I've been wanting a uh, Mega Mewtwo, and here I go. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Check it out, up close. <laughs> and it's the one I would prefer. <laughs> so, um, it is weak to Psychic, and it is number 63 out of 162. Very cool. You get to go in the back there. We have another Skyla. A Prinplup. Reserved Ticket. Oh, and that's all for this, uh, <laughs> pack. Well, we're starting this, uh, last part off with a bang, I guess. Very nice. And we've got another Mewtwo. Can we get the other Mewtwo, do you think? <laughs> the other Mega Mewtwo. Starting off, we have a clay cactnia. <laughs> I like how they did a couple of them clay style. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil, there's the snubble. The original grumpy cat. <laughs> Cubone, also being kind of grumpy and sad. <laughs> Ooh! This is a different Magnemite. I'm surprised they haven't gotten one yet. This is a uh, common card. He's got 60 HP, and it looks like he's illuminating, illuminating the way in a cave for some kids. He has 
an ability called Sparkling Induction. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, its retreat cost is one less for each Magnemite on your bench. Hmm. And then we have Lightning Ball for 20. Cool. Got another NK. And I am going through these kind of quickly, but um, if you'd like to see any more detailed uh, kind of card uh, readings, definitely check out like the first and second parts, because once I've already seen these cards, I just kind of go through them a little quicker. And we have a Reverse Hollow Rare Gengar! Awesome! He has 130 HP, and check out that art. Very cool, it almost looks like graffiti style. Nice. So his first attack here is a Sinister Fog. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put a damage counter on each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. Interesting. So again, he's following the trend of the Hunter and Ghastly from this series of not having direct attacks, but kind of like poison and stuff. And he is weak to dark type and resistant to fighting. Cool. Reverse hollow rare. Very nice. And we have a <laughs> the rare in this pack is an actual hollow and it is a Meloetta. I have quite a few of the like purple style Meloetta, but I think only one of the fighting Meloetta. And now I have a uh, hollow one, so that's pretty cool. Just kind of dancing in a little festival scene. 90 HP. And it has an accelerating spin attack. Attach two fighting energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Then switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. And it has an attack called Prima Rondo. So 60 damage. And then if this Pokemon has any psychic energy attached to it, this attack does 50 more damage. So it could do 110 damage. This would be very cool to have this Meloetta and the psychic Meloetta in the same deck. That would work out really well. Another Sakaki scheme. Ooh, Ursaring. He's pretty tough. And another Fisherman. Very cool. So just when I think, oh, you know, I've probably drawn most of the cards in this deck, <laughs> I get a Reverse Hollow Gengar and a Meloetta. <laughs> I wonder if I'll actually be able to complete this set. I know you can get pretty close with a booster box. I might just not get some of the uh, ultra rares needed. I think after I open all of these, I will do a um, kind of like review video where I uh, see how many out of the uh, set I was able to uh, collect as well as um, whether I got average or better than average pulls for this. So, here we've got a Ralts. Chespin. This is the one with the uh, <laughs> really cute Snorlax sleeping who then saves the Chespin when it falls. And we've got a Noibat. Little Piplup. Another Chespin one of three in this deck, or in this series, and another Chespin even. Three in the same pack, wow. And the rare in this pack is a Simipore, which I have not gotten so far. Falls from Panport, has 90 HP, has Green Fling, put three um, Leaf Energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So what's interesting with this attack, I think they're trying to make you have, like, all three of these guys in the same, uh, deck. Because they are all- all these attacks are, uh, colorless. And these seem to work with each other. So he has ha hand fling, ten times the number of cards in your hand. Oops, I forgot to put this chest back here. And we have Super Rod. Oh, another Dedene. I haven't seen this since like the first pack that I opened, but it's so cute! 
and a glaily spirit link. Definitely come in handy. But I do need clear. Oh wait, no. I think I do have the mega glaily. I have the mega glaily ex, but no glaily ex. That's what I need to get. Starting off with Wubat. Cute little Swablu, taking a nap. Got a Snowbird. A Rufflet. Another Scatterbug. Ooh, a Reverse Braviary. Don't actually have this one before. And this is a um, Reverse Hollow Rare, so that's very nice. Has 100 HP, has a wing attack for 30, takes 2 energy cards, and then for 4 energy cards, 80 times, you have 2 flip, 2 coins, um, so it can do 160 damage, potentially, or, you know, 0. So he is weak to electric type and resistant to fighting. Very cool. Ooh, and we have a Cresselia as the rare. Very nice. So this Cresselia has 110 HP and is like just floating through a city. I like the juxtaposition of um, Pokemon, especially legendary Pokemon in like big cities. It's always pretty cool to me. So it has an ability called My Way. If there is any stadium card in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. And the attack is called Moonlight Gain for 70 HP or 70 HP, 70 damage, um, and it says heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. Very cool. It is weak to psychic type and not resistant to anything. Put that back here. Another Buddy Buddy Rescue. I've gotten quite a few of these Stunfisk. They're gonna be great in the, in my deck. I mean, can you believe this is a basic Pokemon? Come on now. And Bridget. Cool, so I've gotten quite a few uh, legendaries so far in this opening. Let's keep going. This one a little upside down. Got a cute sand shrew. <laughs> the Meowth staggering through a desert card again. Another Pancham. I wonder if they have Pangoro in this deck. Haven't seen one so far. Another really cute Fennekin. Magnemite. A reverse hollow flabebe. Whoa, and we have a hollow magnezone. I forgot that this guy exists. <laughs> Whoa, look at him. So he's got 140 HP. Has an attack, uh, an ability here called magnetic circuit. As often as you like during your turn, before your attack. You may attach a an electric energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. And it has an attack called Thunder Blast for 100. And it says, discard an electric energy attached to this Pokemon. Whoa. <laughs> he looks kind of angry because of his big red eye. <laughs> I think I would have liked the design of this Pokemon better if um, this little antenna wasn't gold. It just doesn't really go with the rest of the card because it's all like steel. Speaking of which, 
This Pokemon has a resistant a resist a weakness to fighting type and a resistance to steel type. Very cool. Heavy boots. And a sand slash, contemplating life while staring at a flower. And a vicious Ursa Ring. Cool. So I'm still drawing new cards, <laughs> as you can see. I've got four packs left. Wonder how close I will get to uh, completing this set. Here we go. Another Mewtwo. Hopefully I could get the uh, other Mega Mewtwo, that'd be really cool. So, first up, we have a Panpour, Cyndaquil, oh, almost felt like there were two cards stuck together there, got a Staryu, Ghastly, <laughs> Doduo, it always makes me laugh. Ooh, a Reverse Hollow Parasect, and that Reverse Hollow is rare. Awesome. So this Parasect kind of looks like he's watching a bunch of uh, lava lamps. <laughs> I, I assume they're supposed to be some sort of like a medical research or something. So it has 100 HP, an attack called Colorful Spores. Choose three of your Pokemon. For each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a different type of basic energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Also has an attack called X Scissor for 30 plus. Flip a coin if heads this attack does 30 more damage. Ooh, and a Marowak. Definitely needed another one of these so I could use the um, Marowak break. And it is rare. And this Pinsir, which also has a very. <laughs> Very good attacks and HP for a basic Pokemon. Judge. Supporter. He, m he looks more like a referee, but I guess he's a judge of like a Pokemon contest, it looks like. He just looks kind of menacing. Hey, you! <laughs> and we've got Town Map. Turn all your prize cards face up. Again, it's a pretty cool card. Okay, we've got three left. Wonder what I'll get. Starting out with an Elgium. Haven't seen this guy for a while. He was very common in the uh, first few packs that I opened. Another Axew. A Froakie. Mischievous. Or, I guess it's not Mischievous, it's Mischievous. <laughs> you know how you just kind of like read things in your head? I mean, I've never actually said this probably out loud. <laughs> Is that weird? Hoot hoot. Ooh, a reverse hollow grand bull. Helping the girl sell her fruit. And an aromatisse, which is rare. Non-hollow, unfortunately, but at least I'm uh, collecting some of the ones that I haven't gotten so far still. This Aromatisse has 90 HP, looks like she's in a garden, kind of, giving off some nice scent. Um, the first attack here is Heavy Perfume for only one fairy energy. It says, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Put six damage counters instead of three on that Pokemon for a special condition. Interesting. Oh, hmm, instead of three? 
I guess maybe now confused Pokemon take 3 damage instead of uh, 30 damage instead of 20. Interesting. And Hug does 30 damage. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. So it wouldn't even be able to try and retreat to the bench to get rid of the um, confusion. Dang, you're kind of cold. He is um, weak to steel type and resistant to dark. And we've got another vanillish with a very pretty background. All those uh, snowflakes and stuff. And another Snorlax trying to catch the poor little chest pin. <laughs> well, I guess he doesn't actually catch him. We don't know if he catches him <laughs> or not. And another Spoopa, also with the uh, snowflakes. Okay, coming down to the end here. Two more packs. First up, we have a Magnemite. This is only my second one of this art. We've got an Inkay. I don't, I don't know if there's a Malamar in this um, series. I would assume there'd be, but I have not gotten one yet. Another cute Pikachu. <laughs> the third Chespin art. Another duo duo. <laughs> Reverse hollow clay snubble. You're so grumpy but cute. And we have a regular rare parasect. A professor's letter. Staravia. Frogadier. And that's all for that pack. Okay guys, here goes the very last pack of my first ever booster box ASMR opening. And it is a Mega Houndoom. Come on guys, <laughs> can you cross your fingers that I get something good? Right, there's a swine up. I wonder if there's a Nano swine or a Nano swine. Yeah, I think it's Nano swine. <laughs> so, first card of the last pack, swine up. Ralts playing with a little kindergarten blocks. Pansier. <laughs> the comic relief meow. Ghastly, haunting round. We have a reverse hollow buddy buddy rescue. A non hollow rare bra braviary. Grand bull. Pillow swine. Oh, it, yeah, it is mammoth swine. <laughs> I don't know why that's giving me difficulty. And an assault vest. It's a little anticlimactic at the end there, but I definitely got some great cards in this part. If you happen to miss any of the other um, 
parts opening all of these cards. I did open all 36 packs on my channel. Um, of course, I'm going to link them pro probably everywhere. <laughs> in case you want to see what other cards I got. Um, and I will come back and do a little um, review and um, see what cards I'm missing from this set. As well as see if I got average or better than average pulls for this uh, breakthrough, or even below average pulls, but I think I did pretty well. So, I'm just gonna review these cards really quickly and um, make some standard ASMR style noises again, as usual. And um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed seeing my first ever <laughs> booster box, it was definitely fun to open. And um, thanks for watching, see you in my next one!